All right, so I predicted in this tank here, the one that we drilled first, that there would be a leak, and there is a slight leak in here. It's a slight irritating leak. Looks like there's one right here, very small leak, and it's a very small leak, and it appears that there's a small leak right here. It looks like we may have, you know, cracked, slightly cracked the glass um, while we were installing it. So I'm gonna have to go in here, drain this water out, and then we're gonna have to reseal this with some silicone. And around here, around here, and maybe one, maybe this one as well. Small leaks on it, much smaller than what I anticipated, but it's better to anticipate to be a large leak than an, a, a, and get a small leak than to anticipate you know a small leak like this and come out with a big leak. So, you know, this is not, not too bad. So I'm gonna fix this, drain this water out, reseal these, and then uh, let it sit for a few days and then we'll fill it back up. And right now what we're gonna do is get ready to work on this tank. This tank, we made some mistakes. This tank here, we should be able to capitalize on those mistakes and not be able to make them again. So we should learn our lesson from that. So, But first I wanna get in here, feed the fingerlings. It's about two hours before sunset. So I wanna get this feed out of the way real quick and uh, keep it moving. Starving, starving, and starving. All right, so we drilled our first, these are just like the placement um, holes. Put three of them in there. This is just to hold it in place so it can form onto the structure. And then from there we can start um, drilling in the rest of the holes that are gonna be placed in this window. So got this set up, now I'm just gonna continue going down and drilling out the rest of these holes and then um, take it off and then um, place some silicone on there and then slap it on the structure. Woo! All right, so what do we got? All the holes are drilled in here. So there's probably a little bit over 100 holes drilled. Took about 10 minutes, I'd say. About 10 hot minutes. And then we have this drill, so now I'm just gonna take off these nuts and then from there we're gonna cut out the actual um, hole to place the window. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? We have the outline of the window drawn out now. I did, what I did was I spaced it an inch from the side, inch from the top on all four corners, then connected those bad boys together. So now we have our little square here, or our rectangle here, and then we're gonna go ahead and chop that out right now so we can remove this out of the way so we can have our clear window. All right, so it looks like this drill went out. I don't know what the heck happened. We just bought this thing. I think it's probably like two days old. Um, maybe it overheated, I don't know what the heck it did, but it's getting returned. This one had, this little piece here stuck in there and I managed to get it out. The Hail Mary, we managed to get it out. So we're gonna get this jigsaw back rocking and rolling so we can finish cutting out this hole. Cause I did not wanna go back to Home Depot right now. I'm telling you right now, I had it. I was like, I don't wanna go back to Home Depot. So luckily we got this bad boy up and running. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? Boom. The hole for the window is cut out. Now, I think I spoke too dang soon about not going to Home Depot. I think I might have to go to Home Depot to get some more silicone um, to put this tank on, or to put this window on. But we'll see, I have a little bit left here, in here, and I don't think this is gonna be enough, man. I don't think it's gonna be enough, but we'll see. The sun has fallen upon us, so we need some more light up here so I can finish the rest of this project, because I'm determined to get this thing done for the night. And we need some extra light out here so I can put this this window on here and get it prepared for the people. Much better. Now we got some light over here so we can finish this project. Okay, it looks like I survived and the silicone did not run out on me. So you guys can see the tank here. Got the window installed. Got it nice and siliconed up. All the nuts and bolts in there. And we're gonna let this sit. Let this sit for about 48 hours uh, before we put the, um, fill it up with water. Now, what I have to do next is we're gonna go back and fix this tank here. Um, those two or three bolts down there, take them out, silicone those bad boys. I better have enough silicone for that. I better not have to go to Home Depot just for two or three bolts. I think I have enough, hopefully I do, but we'll check it out. So, one thing real quick 
on the tanks one little tip is when we put the window in size it from the inside drill your first the pilot holes and everything from the inside the mistake we did on this tank is we did it from the outside and we miscalculated that there's this slight little you know there's a slight little gap in here probably about an eighth of an inch and that threw the window off when we put it in the inside it jacked it up because we were following the instructions for a tank that is flat so a flat tank you would do it on the outside no problem but a rounded tank slap that bad boy on the inside and draw all your holes and uh, mount it and everything from the inside first don't do it from the outside so that's a quick tip so let me jump on here real quick take out uh, one two probably like three bolts and then we'll finish up for the night got the mosquitoes munching on me right now they're biting all on me all over the place man I need to take a triple shower they're all over the place all right so the glue ran out just in time as I finished this last bolt so that's a good thing luck was on my side today so with that being said we got the tanks done Woo! I don't even know what time it is right now I've probably been out here for like three four five hours I don't know but I'm pumped right now man I'm about to ugh, backflip man they, woo, they're done these guys are done ladies and gentlemen now this tank surprisingly wasn't as hard as I thought it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be doing it with one person. Uh, it wasn't that bad. Um, but maybe because I'm used to swinging it with one person anyway. So that's probably one of the reasons why it wasn't. And actually, we, I actually finished this one quicker by myself than we did over here. With uh, doing it with two people. So uh, maybe because we have the rhythm, I got the rhythm down and was able to do it quicker. So I'm pumped, man. Man, mm, man I'm pumped right now, man. I can't wait to get some water in here. Get some fish in here so you guys can see them swimming around. See the um, solids being removed. See all the little biological activities that are taking place within the tank. So I'm pumped about that, man. I'm super pumped about that. Uh, these are going to come out looking very well. Very good looking. So, I mean, I don't even know what else to say right now, man. I need to give me a shower. I'm getting tore up. I done took all my bites for the night. No more mosquito bites for the night. Get in there, take like three or four showers, and then get me something to eat, um, and then call it a night, and I still got more stuff to do. <laughs> There's no calling in the night yet, so I still got a lot more stuff to do. Um, but, man, it's done, man. So I'm pumped, man. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out with you guys installing your fish tanks or the windows in your fish tanks. Now, is this absolutely necessary? Let's get to that real quick. Is a fish window absolutely necessary? Just in case some of you guys are wondering, absolutely not. Come on, it's not necessary. But if it's for showcase, you know, and uh, you want something to look, uh, something that's you know presentable, or you're gonna be doing tours or something like that, you know what? Slap one in there, no problem. Slap a clear window in there. The kids are gonna absolutely love it. The viewers are gonna absolutely love it. I know you guys are gonna absolutely love it. So. You know, that's why we put we put these in here. This is how you would make, you know, your system fancy. You know, you're doing something like this, putting windows in there or something like that. You know, this is getting on the more of the fancy side, but um, absolutely, you don't need these windows. So just in case any of you guys are wondering, but some of you guys out there want to look fresh. These windows are for you. Woo, take care. I'll see you guys on the next one.